What's up everybody? This is Colin from BodyShop.blog. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the clean and jerk. First thing you're going to do, you're going to clean that weight up and then you're going to press it up as seen on the screen. The clean and jerk is based off of two movements, right? It's an explosive deadlift to get it up to your shoulders. As it gets to your shoulders, I want you guys to focus on dipping down under that barbell into a front squat position and then you're going to squat that weight up. After you squat that weight up and it's resting on your shoulders, you're going to do an overhead press, an explosive overhead press, almost like a push press, and you should be going into a split stance position, almost like a lunge. I will be the first to say that I am no expert on doing barbell clean and jerks, okay? I'm not super strong in them. My best clean and jerk was 245. I know I'm using some pretty light weight today. It was not warmed up, I'm coming back from a broken foot. So keep that in mind, please. Um, barbell clean and jerks are a great movement for your legs and overall, I mean, it's a full body exercise, all right? It does your legs, it does your hips, it does your triceps, it does a little bit of your bicep because you're pulling that weight up, it does your abs, it does your core. It's a phenomenal exercise. Just be careful because the risk for injury is there and if you get hurt during these, it's not going to be fun. Make sure that you go light enough weight to learn the form properly, right? Again, we're squatting down after we do an explosive deadlift, right? Getting that bar to our shoulders, squatting it up like a front squat position, and then we're going to go into an explosive push press into an overhead press, right? Switching those legs back almost like a net lunge, and then pressing that weight up and then dropping the weight back down. That is how you do the barbell clean and jerk.